Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to play Billy Joel's For the Longest Time on the piano. Now you may be thinking this is not really a piano song, doesn't have piano in it, but at least as far as I am concerned, these are the sort of songs which I like to teach and which I like to perform because it gives you a lot more opportunities to rearrange it and create your own version of it, if you will, right? And trying to create or trying to retain a lot of the, the important features of the original song. So like the melody, the chords, of course, right? Of course, you can reharmonize stuff, which uh, we don't really do in this lesson. It's just sim the same chords, the same melody, but a lot of interesting piano stuff going on. So I hope this arrangement does some justice to the song and makes you enjoy it a bit more if you're already a fan of it. And uh, it's a good workout in the sense there are four sections in the song. Let me just run through the four sections. The A part is... time whoa, whoa. that part right the second part is if you say goodbye to me tonight ooh, do, da, 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 da. that's the second part na 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 what else could i do na 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 then to hold you for the longest time right and that kind of repeats then you have a D section, like a fourth part, where he goes... And so on, right? Um, so this entire version is not really to get you to play and sing it. Even though you can, you can follow the chords and sing. It's meant for you to play everything on the piano. The melody and even the vocal harmony, which we observe very well in the song since it's an a cappella song right so you learn the vocal harmony you're also going to learn some rhythm and wait for it till the very end where i've done an improvisation a lot of cool bluesy and some jazzy licks stuff like that just to embellish it at the end because as a piano player if you pretty much play the same thing in the first verse or the first chorus into the next choruses and verses it's going to sound a bit boring because a piano doesn't have that much expression or dynamics as the human voice or as any other lead instrument you would uh, observe right and the piano can't play lyrics which keeps the song more and more interesting as you keep skimming along so let's get cracking right away before we do it'll be great if you can get your keyboards out and learn with me because i teach quite slow and in a quite detailed way and uh, very importantly, we have the staff notation, the MIDI files and pretty much all you will need to learn this song visually and uh, technologically, so to speak. You will find that all on our Patreon page and just for a $5 subscription, you're going to get this song and pretty much everything I'm going to do in the future, all my learning material as well as stuff which I have already done in the past. Almost for the past three to four years, you'll find content lying there and it's just five bucks a month. So consider getting yourselves a copy, get your pianos ready and let's get cracking. And one more thing, try and hit that bell and the subscribe button if you haven't already. That'll help our channel go a great way. Let's get cracking. Right, so the song's on the key of E flat major. Right, that's your E flat major. It has E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. So I'm just going to go section by section and you can read it in the notation as A, B, C, D and so on. Even though you may argue B and C are kind of the same thing. It's okay. I've just put it separately because the improvisation later is going to be slightly different. Okay, so I start and my my intention is to follow the song as best as I possibly can and at the same time make it physically possible to play it on the piano. So that that's the main goal and... I ended up having a lot of fun teaching this in some of my classes as well. So that inspired me to make this YouTube tutorial. So uh, the beginning in the in the actual song, we go to -ru -ru, this weird chromatic thing. So let me take you through the first A. -ru -ru -ru. Oh, 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 
just so i try to get that long the bass part so let's do that i'll probably teach you maybe a four four bars at a time okay to do do of longest okay for the longest okay let's break that down to do do okay so that's index finger on c thumb on c sharp or d flat and then you go b b natural and then you can whack your e flat octave to do do wo and then we have a choral way of playing our chords in a block style trying to get the soprano or the melody out in the top end of your of your treble clef in the right hand so so if you hear the top note that's exactly the melody line which billy joel is singing right so it's a bit tricky to play on the piano because you have to keep moving the inversions around but you get this really nice choral harmony so i would encourage you to practice it hard so there we have it let's do that again and the uh, the second time i do this i do just for some flavor okay whole thing again it's also a nice strategy to snap while you play the tune so snap at the 2 and the 4 of the bar that generally gives you that swing feel which we generally desire especially for this song which is on a swing feel for the longest so how am i playing for the longest for the long i'm playing a b flat major in second inversion with the d on the top for the and just floating around my top fingers to do d c d c and this repeats again so i block my chord for the longest there we go for the longest okay so whole whole story again oh, oh longest let bass for the longest i try to hit the bass as a dotted minim and then as a crotchet or a, a one counted note 3 1 on the longest time okay let's do it all the way till for the longest time for the longest time first two lines of the song do 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 oh for the for the longest time okay let's do that a bit slower t d d o I told you that for longest oh just for f- some flavor for the longest same way as earlier for the longest let's do the whole a section very slowly in the th- I call this a choral style because your right hand is uh, pretty much playing like how a choir would uh, vocalize this and that's what the song is in any case it's an a cappella song right so ta da da wo longest for the longest time for the longest for the longest okay now let's do the b section and i have a nice style in the left hand let me play it once for you if you say goodbye to me tonight oh okay now Let's simplify it. Let's do the second line. Uh, if you see the notation, the second line looks rather chaotic. So I'll let's assume that if you are a newcomer to the piano, uh, perhaps you haven't got your chops that much down yet. You can still do the first line of the B part and repeat that twice. So let's do the B again. If you say goodbye to me tonight. Okay. The left hand's quite tricky but let's figure out the right hand first. One more time. Play along with me if possible. So if you say now you could do 
you would kind of do all your five fingers some some students get a bit uh, confused with that so this is one way if you say goodbye you could do it that way or if you if you if you you can kind of bring like replace or swap out the index with the thumb at the g if you say that kind of works if you say good bye to me so that's your right hand the left hand i have designed a nice uh, tenor bass choral combo if you if you think about it do 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 that's e flat and i'm pivoting or anchoring b flat for the first two bars do 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 and the pinky is following the chord tones e flat g minor c minor b flat a flat ta da da bye to me to so that harmonizes that quite well i think so if do you could repeat the same line you could play those uh, you could play it the same way the same style or you could look at the notation in the second line how i have arranged it so it goes uh, okay let me do the first line once more and then do the second line of the b if you say good Okay and now the fun begins. I harmonize my right hand. Okay. So I've kind of thrown away the melody a wee bit. Try to get all the parts of that arrangement into the piano. So you go So ta E flat G D F C flat E flat G D F C E flat back to E flat G and then some la da 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 the higher descant voice goes but then you want to also get the soprano if possible na 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 I'm doing na 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 that's your below part na 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 with the other twin okay na 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 and my left hand is grooving a bit more tan 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 so i'm doing like an umpa rhythm as we call it umpa um so i'm just keeping that g and b flat consistent umpa umpa Okay, and my na 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 na. The second line has different chords, so that's in the second time. Ta 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 ta. That's F over A. Na 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 na. That's an F seventh. So I'm doing F na 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 na. That's F dominant seventh in this. spread version so e yo na te la ta ri ra one more time ta left hand to ru so only your pinky will drop na ra ra te now f over a f seventh b flat pam 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 and then pam pam We'll come to that later because that takes us into the C section. Okay, so if you line one, day, to me tonight. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do, da, de, de, a, a, a. Okay, you end the B with. A, a, a. 
Again, inversions of the chords. F, B flat, D. E flat, A flat, C. That's B flat, A flat, G. Okay. I'll, I'll do the B again a bit slowly. If you say enter the C part. So for the C part, I'm, I'm going to walk you through the left hand first. All the chords are going to be played in a spread position. So bum, G, G major, C minor, B flat major, E flat major, A flat major, F minor, B flat major, E flat major. Okay. So bum, bum, bum. What else could I I'm so inspired by you, I want tend to hold you for the longest time. Only the B flat, I've designed it as a long, with a B flat dominant there, right? Longest time. Okay, so, uh, 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 that's leading into the C. Uh, 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 what else could I? Uh, First plate normally in the right hand. I'm so inspired by you. It hasn't been there for the long haul. Guess one more time. What else could I do? I'm so inspired by you. Okay, now to embellish the right hand. What else could so I'm doing like a nice harmony there, a tenor harmony. I do. And uh, filling around with the soprano. Instead of doing I do, I'm doing uh, I do. Okay, so bam, bam, bam. What else could I do? I'm so in normal. I'm so inspired by. Again, more tenor harmony. La, da, da. I did that. I like that minor <clears throat> embellishment there. By. Okay, so again, whole line against the C first line. Bah, bah. What else could I do? I'm so inspired by you There hasn't been there for the longest time So I'm doing That hasn't been there Been there I'm harmonizing F minor like an F minor ninth if you think about it Been there Been there for the If you cannot do that it's fine You can just do the tune Been there for the longest time Okay, the left hand is more than enough because the left hand sounds rather full with the spread voicing, right? Uh, so, that hasn't been there for the longest time. Again, to some tenor harmony. Longest time. Okay, whole C section. Okay, bam, bam, bam. What else could I do? I'm so inspired by you that hasn't been there for the longest time there we have it so now let's move into the d or the bridge part and see how that goes i've arranged it quite well so let's move forward right so the d basically has very simple melody right ding 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 that's all it is. So, uh, and some nice things to do in the left hand would again be to follow the backing vocals. First off, we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, so how this is exactly how it is in the song. Something like that goes on, right? B flat major, but first we arpeggiate it and then we block it. You want to start at the two, three. 
at the two of the bar not at the one there's a rest at the one in the left hand maybe you may want to get that independence slightly tricky that downs the chords are re 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 c minor la da 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 ta da 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 d7 na 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 e flat major okay so over that it'll be this rhythm in the left hand which is pretty much following the chord tones ne na Let's do that line a little slower. B flat major, C minor, D seven. First time doing D seven as an arpeggio, like that, and then in this way. Okay, and then. to do the same pattern but i thought of adding a bass pedal to make it more uh, heavier i guess so with because the melody is the same so it may get boring so i do something like so you hit the pinky on the g and then come up and hit the arpeggio okay so that's the g minor chord the second time over one more time with your pedal needing to be down now c minor same strategy <clears throat> but you do c with your pinky and then come all the way up this is the stride version so let's do that again first the third line of the d section f7 voicing so pinky on f and it's again and it's more than i hope for okay let's do that last line slightly tricky right so f dominant seventh and it's more that's like a jazzy b flat chord you can call it a b flat 11th or b flat and a flat major triad in the right hand more than i hope oh. that, that's a bit tricky because you're again bringing back the bass but all these ingredients are there in the song so i'd encourage you to also listen to the original song more than i hope for oh. more than i hope for Okay so the whole uh, D section once let's do te ra 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 staccato te ra 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 staccato te ru 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 now the pedal striding C minor F 7th and it's more B flat So I'll just do the last line more than I hope for pom 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 you need to lead that in the last climb more than I hope for now it's going to be a bunch of fun improvisations which we are going to learn so uh, come to think of it we've actually done the a the b the c and the d and you don't have to play the fancy right hand embellishments you can just play the good old melody um i tried to harmonize it with the choral stuff that's all i did in the treble to mess with the tune a bit uh, the left hand i've just tried to incorporate as many rhythm patterns as i think would serve the song best and also get you guys watching the video to develop your left hand a lot more stronger now the party actually begins where we are going to go into some interesting improvisations which i've done on the 
B, the C and the A. And the A I've done a lot at the end to kind of finish off the song with a bang to create a nice version which you can perform for your friends or make a video of your own and put it up on your own channels and so on. And again to remind you there is notation of this entire song and if you'd like to check me playing the whole performance there will be a performance link as well which is in the description to do so do check out my performance of the song and let me know what you think and most of the times we tend to do detailed tutorials on our channel which perhaps prevents you from sharing it with all your loved ones uh, but there is a performance so whenever there's a performance on our channel it'd be awesome if you could share it and uh, get your friends to 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 enjoy the music rather than only learn which we do tend to do on this channel right so let's move forward with the improvised b c and back to the a sections right so for the b section at the end i've created an improvisation this is how it goes okay that's your first two bars i'll try and teach you um in two bar phrases so first phrase te do do de do de do Okay, T do do de do de do 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 de. Okay, it's sort of like if you say good, just to improv on it. If you say good, and the chords um pum 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 pum. Just G B flat on top, ringing. Tum tum tum, and then let's move forward. T do do de do de do 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 de. Now T do de 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 do. Okay, so we do de do de do 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 de de do de do 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 de do bye to me tonight, but de do de do de do do de do de do de do de do de do. That's like a trill. You can even do. what i ended up notating and playing and i left hands doing a spread of a flat there and now i'm going very high like i did in the first b now That's your right hand, right? With the left, which goes hum pan, same thing, hum pam pam. First line also, and then. I'm doing that pam pam pa in the left hand because I'm kind of running out of resources in the right. So let's just finish the the two lines of the B improv. Very slowly now. Okay, let's continue now forward to the C section, which I've improvised as well. So in the C improv, we enter the C improv with pam pam pam, and then we develop these licks in the right hand, which are on the chord tones. That's on the G seventh going to C minor. C minor. Now B flat going to. So I quite like that offbeat nature of the E flat. 
landing so we go okay so let's do that again and climb b flat one more time and then and then been there for the longest time i just kind of messed with the timing of the notes nothing great so i i did has it been there for the longest time so until longest time okay the everything else is on the off that has in everything is at the ends you could say has it been there for the longest time okay the whole c improv and then b flat flat in f now the longest time okay and then we end with the a as an outro and quite simple is just that the left hands grooving a bit we're just doing this pattern for the longest time oh for the longest time pretty much this part in the left hand and the right hand goes Okay. E flat with a G. The left hand goes E flat, B flat major, E flat over G, A flat major. Now B flat all the longest time, for the longest time. Some melodic anticipation. having some fun with the rhythm of the melody that's all so oh oh now for the longest time para pam 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 para pam for the longest time let's break that down so first line of the a outro bar 58 if you're seeing the notation it'll be time para pam pam for the longest time para pam 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 sa pam para pam 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 para pam pe poru pom pe pe che pom pom pe poru pe che cha che cha for the longest time pa 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 para i'm in the third line now in the end of the song wo wo you do can do that way wo can do or so for the longest stand but they be be you we be do do be do Okay, let's break down that A outro slowly with me. Oh, 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 for the longest time, pa da pa 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 ending lick you could do like with a b flat b flat try it or you can do just without it <laughs> or what i like and the left hand goes we pare paro pa 
bade bado you can end with a nice song right guys so let's just conclude with the entire improv section at the end i'm just going to revise that whole thing and then let's wind up the tutorial follow carefully we'll do it very slowly okay e ne pare pa upar pe ti du 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 tere na ta na ta ra re ta ra re pa ra re ending a outro Okay, the very last line, fingering perhaps, could bring back your thumb to the F. One more time, slowly. Ending. Slowly. Right guys so this is for the longest time by Billy Joel a great song a, a superb a cappella piece by one of the greatest singer songwriters who has ever lived and what i would encourage you to do if you haven't already is there's a performance which i've done on this song uh do uh, watch it and share it with your friends and family that will be really cool also give the video a like a subscribe leave us a comment with what you thought and don't forget to get yourselves a copy of the sheet music on patreon if that is not your uh, style of learning you could also get the midi files and uh, there are also other resources of my previous lessons and whatever i'm going to do in the future right and if you'd like to subscribe to uh regular structured modules at nathaniel school of music all you have to do is go to our website nathanielschool.com fill up a few forms get in touch with one of our course advisors and we'll guide you with a path which can suit you best right guys this is jason zack from nathaniel cheers